everyone, welcome to another Average Angler video. You're probably getting loads of wind noise. My apologies, there's absolutely nothing about it. As you can see, it's been howling across. This is just the start of the day. Um, I'm on the sedges, I'm on the, league. I'm on the second round of the Silvers League here at the sedges. I've drawn peg three. I'm not going to be doing this for two months. I'm going to get this as whatever footage I can. Hopefully, we'll have something. Right guys, literally first cast with a feed off. Just fed me I fed me pellet line. Fed me fed sorry not, not me fed me pellet line, I fed me pole line. And then first cast with a feeder. Say again. <laughs> He's had one as well. Shane. He's had one as well. <coughs> yeah, one before me. <coughs> so, sorry, just ch chatting to Shane on the next peg. He was telling me to pack it in because I've had a fish first put. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually picking up my voice. I'm going to speak a bit louder because I've, I've tucked my camera away because of the wind. Sorry, not my camera. Me, um, I've tucked my... Um, he didn't come off because he was popped. I've, I've tucked my mic away a bit today. And the sound is always a problem for me on these videos, so... So we've just gone with a little tiny feeder. Double pinky. No feed at all, just ground bait. No loose feed particles in the ground bait, very, very small. Um, three hole feeder. Um, I'm starting small, so I want to just get the casting right so this wind and work out how accurate I can actually be before I start being aggressive and putting more feed in and, you know, just trying to hook a couple more fish. percent happy with that cast so I'm gonna try a bit better this time. Try and hit it a little bit firmer. That's better. And I'm hit the clip quite firmly and I wanna <clears throat> I wanna hit the clip quite firmly and I and I wanna get the line sunk because the wind's putting a bow in it really quickly. Line tight, it might get bites as soon as it goes in here, but trying to get the line tight is going to be hard. Okay, the next one might just land in another one. Guy to my left's had one already, I've had one. But two guys in this sec in my section, also to my right, I don't think they've had one yet. I'm going to start on the tip just because it's so windy, I imagine. I'm fishing longer. I like mine is fishing in the middle. I'm fishing sort of three quarters of the way over. I don't want to go tight. I feel like that's carp central. The last thing you want to do is uh, start catching carp on a silver's match. So it's a nice positive bite that was, he was on. There was no messing about, he was just on. He's had it proper. It's nice to get one under the belt on the first put. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting to have the video on quite so quickly, which is nice. So I'm going to turn it off in a second, but I just want to give you a lowdown what's happened. So I've put three balls of ground bait in at 10 metres. I can't fish any longer than 10 metres. When the wind blows, the pole is unholdable, literally unholdable, and the wind's going to get worse. I've plumbed the line with the number six section as well, closer in, which I might fish later if the wind gets really, really bad, but I haven't um, put any bait on it yet. 
and I've also got a 30 metre section with me so if the wind drops I can go past where I've fed and perhaps try my pellet approach but I feel like my pellet approach needs the weather to be a bit calmer because the bites are so delicate on that approach and so um, I'm reluctant to, to go with to do that unless I can be sure that I can see the bites so that's where we are I've had one fish and I'll catch you back up in a bit guys all right guys wind is getting worse and worse and worse it's 20 to 1 just have my second fish so you saw the first one I've just netted a smaller a smaller skimmer which puts me in contention for winning the section because the guy to my left's got two he said he's got um, two skimmers I don't know what size these are and the guy to my right's got one skimmer and that's a similar size to one of mine so and I'm at least second I could be first just depends on who's got the heavier skimmer obviously still a bit of time to go yeah I've still got a few hours yet but that's how it's been I've switched to the window feeder and just started putting some pinky through I have tried the pole line um, unholdable the pole is absolutely unholdable so um I've come off it. I'm saving the ground bait for the for the figure at the moment because it seems like um, I'm going to, if the first if, if I start catching on a window feed like I have just got well, I've just caught a window feed that put a little the window feed is a little bit bigger than my uh, little tiny three hole was. Even now, even casting that, not even casting that window feeder, which are the best things to, you know, best feeders you can get for casting. Still absolutely all over the shot. Just got to wait for sort of breaking the weather and see what you can do. Seems like we're having a section of feeder fishing at the moment. Um, it is very hard. I'd like to have got on the pole, but it's just not happening. I imagine you're picking up wind noise, even though you tucked right inside my top. And I just thought I'd do a little update. I've not got much to say, really. Like I say, to my knowledge, five fish have been caught in this section. I've caught two of them. So it's that hard. I think the guy on peg one's had nothing. Actually, he's had a carp, which obviously doesn't count. The guy to my left's hooked a carp, which doesn't count. And I've lost a carp, which I did get some footage of on the tripod cam, I think. But... Um, I might just overlap it over this little update just to uh, give you something to look at while instead of sitting watching me blowing around in the wind. So I'm going to leave it there, catch you in a bit. I'm doing all right even though this weather's rubbish. There you are guys, just turn the camera off. I was talking to you and I've just up to carp and he just pinged off. So he's done me up probably. Say again? Stun me mate, it's a car. Stun me. Right guys, we've got half an hour to go and the wind has just suddenly dropped like it was blowing a gale two minutes ago and now it's not. So I've quickly whipped the pole out, had a small skimmer. I've got about five or six of them now, small ones though, they're not very big. The guy to my left had two or three real nice ones on the feeder. Iron peg ones had a couple of nice ones on the feeder as well, so I feel like I'm probably third in section now, which I didn't want to be. I wanted to be first, really. But... Yeah. Take a yeah. Getting indications on this, but I don't know what. on the deck when it was blowing into it. Right, sorry about that. Probably cut all that out. It's just me detangling a rip. Wasting five minutes that I don't have. Oh, 
Oh, I'm straight away. That pinkies must have drawn a few fish up in the water. He's had that on the drop. Hmm. <laughs> it was worth setting it up after all that, wasn't it? Two fish. I don't think it's going to make any difference though. So. They're not big enough to catch up with the other guys. There are too many proper ones. Like a different day, isn't it? Storms definitely passed through now. I'm just keeping the cameras rolling. See guys, this is actually a better one. This is what we want, we need a better one. They're the ones we want. Stretch out. Hmm? Stretch out I, I can't, that was a full stretch, mate. I need a wee. I'm going to wee myself if I stretch any further than that. We don't want him. Carp that was. Carp, yeah. We don't want we don't want him playing games. We've already had two of his kind today. Both snapped me up. Pinky on floor it. Let's just see what we can do. I'm getting amongst them pinks that we just dropped in. There's a few skimmers running around looking for pinkies that are dropping in, and they can see mine coming down. Wind stops, rain's turned up. Just make sure everything's soaking wet before you go home. Dreamy. 
No, I've only had, just had, just had two of these. Yeah, I haven't. You're beating me, don't worry. You're still beating me, I think. So you've had, I've only had two good fish, you've had loads of good fish. Yeah. Six what? All together? Yeah, but I've probably got more than that, but mine are small. I've, had, I've only had two good ones. Literally ran out of time now, ain't I? Because that, that's, that's looking like a very heavy skimmer. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I thought you'd... Uh... Oh, not quite enough time. I'll take that there.